Hello everyone. Today's session is about how to brand the iOS app. So to be able to get a iOS app um, published under your company's name, you need to have an iOS developer account. Uh, usually you can pay Apple $99 a year and then you can get a um, developer account. Um, you also need to have an iTunes Connect account. The two accounts are together. So first of all, you need to decide what you want to call your app and assign it a uh, application ID. There are four application IDs together. One is the main one and then there are three more related to three different extensions. There's also uh, a group, application group, that you need to create and assign all the application ID to the group. So normally, you would name your group as group dot and then your main application ID. And the other extensions would be named, you know, main uh, ad, you know, application ID dot, you know, action extension, document provider extension, file provider extension, and so on. So there are four IDs you need to have. And after you create the four IDs and the application group and assign the application group to all the four application IDs, you need to create four mobile provision profiles for four, um, for one main app and then the other three will be three extensions. Each extension needs to have a uh, independent mobile provisional profile in you know, a profile. So um, you can create the mobile provisional profile like that uh, for the distribution. Um, I already created the profile, so I'm not going to go through that. Just show you, you know, where you can get it done. So you can create the mobile provisional profile and then downloading those to your um, Mac machine. So in order to brand the, the you know, iOS package from center stack to your app, you need to have a Mac machine to do so. The next thing, if you uh, haven't already done, so you need to create an app entry. So you create an app entry in iTunes Connect. So you have two accounts. One is the iOS developer account and one is the iTunes Connect account. So one is to be able to sign the application and the other is to be able to deliver the application. So now let's see, um, there's a zip file. So if you unpack the zip, zip file, you're going to see the IPA file. That's the application in uh, Gladinet Center Stack's name. That, um, there's also an input directory that contains for example, the mobile pro provisional profile you can uh, replace with your own. So there are four mobile provision profiles you need to replace. There's also a common.shell file that contains the parameters for your app. So for example, what's the access location, um, access point that's you know, pointing to your instance of center stack. You can change the product name. Um, you can change the bundle name. So bundle name is usually in a reversed um, DNS format, like com dot, you know, gladinet dot something, right? So usually it's the, the reverse. And the iOS team ID will be, you can get that from the iOS developer account. So usually it's the prefix. So if you see the prefix, that's your team ID. Uh, so every iOS developer account gets a team ID. Um, you also need to have your own certificate to be able to sign the app. So normally you would uh, start requesting an iOS certificate from your own uh, Mac. You have to generate the certificate from the same Mac, otherwise you don't have the private key. So let's say you already got the certificate, you can install the certificate and then you can copy this common name into the common.shell file so that that will be the certificate uh, used to sign your package. And there are also some, uh, let's say, artworks, right? The application icon artworks here, you can replace. Um, there's also 
uh, icons in the in the, um, the image assets folder. So the the best practice is you get a 1024 by 10, 10, 1024 icon, and then you you um, resize it into different uh, resolutions, smaller res resolutions for different um, kind of devices. And this is how you would transform the the app. After you get the mobile professional uh, profile ready, you get the certificate ready, you get your artwork ready. So now you are ready to transform the Gladinet Center Stack iOS app into your own app that you can upload to your own iOS developer account, uh, not your iOS developer account, but your iTunes Connect account and signed by the certificate from your own iOS developer account. So as you can see here, there's an output the IPA file. So that's your your package you can use in your name with your own artwork. You can use the application loader to load the app into your iTunes Connect store. Um, and I can show you how you can get started and then you can click next to get it delivered to Apple. Um, so I'm not going to get it done because um, it's already done for for the app, um, our app. You can also launch the application loader from Xcode. If you have Xcode in, installed, you can, you can do it that way. And once you get your app into your uh, your store iTunes iTunes Connect account, you can go into the test flight section, and then you're going to be able to see your app. If it's just after the upload, the um, it may be grayed out because it's you know doing some internal processing. But after a while, maybe five ten minutes, it should be available from Apple, and then you can assign internal testers to test the app so you can use test flight to install the app in your uh, iOS devices and after that you need to upload the images to the iTunes Connect Store. You need to test it on different devices and then capture the images and upload it to um, to the, the uh, app entry here. There's some more other information you need to fill out, but that's all. Um, thank you.